Hello to anybody and everybody watching this video. My name is Carmen and today we are going to be planning my next island. I have a blank canvas here. I have my whole island right here set up as if it was completely empty, which it is. And all there is left to do now to this empty map is design it. And I've had a few ideas run through my head. I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Nothing's really set in stone, so that's why you and I today are going to go over it together and see what we can come up with. As we're doing this and you have any ideas along the way, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear your guys' creative ideas and it would most likely inspire me to add something of your suggestions onto my own island. So without further ado, we are going to get started soon and I think the theme of my island is going to be a town. Not a city, not a very modern city, not completely city, sidewalks, everything. It's just gonna kind of be a nice, I don't know, a describing word, town, a calm, not vintage. I don't know. We're gonna get on with it. We're gonna see what we can come up with. Okay, so let's get started with the entrance and sorry if you're gonna hear like tippy-tappy sounds. I can't really do much to combat that. So let's see what Maple Leaf can have for us. So first of all, I was thinking about maybe doing like a long horizontal um, river, like a straight river, but I didn't like that idea. So I think we're gonna go with a walkway all the way across. So I, I guess we're just gonna... Oh, too big. We're just gonna go across like this and i know there's the river mouths too but we'll figure that out as time goes so this is a pathway so what do we have next well i was thinking of having some separate sections here so like i was thinking of having like a little shopping district over here and maybe like the museum and um some houses or a neighborhood over here oh and a fun part of my island is it's not going to be a whole town uh, another section the back end of the island let's say this half is going to be a magical forest but you never heard of that one before i think i'm going to do a path right here leading up to this but i'm also going to try and expand resident services just a little bit uh, i'm going to try and make like a courtyard ish type area so we're gonna kind of map that out here um yeah and i'm gonna just do a rough copy right now i'm not gonna do a huge big good copy until the end of the video where i'm gonna do a little time lapse for you guys and i'm gonna show you what it is gonna be like absolutely complete and of course again not everything is gonna be set in stone we're going to probably change things along the way as we build this island together Okay, there's our courtyard, nice. And I was thinking of surrounding that with the castle things, so I'm just gonna add that as well. Um, uh, here, there's a wall, yeah. And then maybe we'll have four of the tall ones. You pick up what I'm putting down, and that's gonna be the little window. And things that will be on the outside, I think we're gonna have some live music, so people can come down and listen to some live music at nighttime. So here's where the stage is gonna be. Here's a little band and whatnot and i guess we'll throw in some tables and chairs too maybe like this those look like chocolate chips anyways here's the chairs there we go that is our little seating area for the courtyard i'm gonna try not to forget about trees here so i'm gonna add in here this is gonna signify that these are trees right okay here are the trees surrounding the actual part that's the resident services there's not much we can do with this area so i think i'm going to turn that into a little flower bed area so like two symmetrical flowers and i think we're going to stick to um neutral themes maybe maybe we'll add in like splashes of red here and there Oh, we can do like a bunch of apple trees and stuff. I like that idea. So here's our red and white flowers. Perfect. And that's kind of that area done. I know this looks really dookie sauce right now. What did I just say? Anyways, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. You know how sometimes sidewalks are divided by um, trees in the middle? Well, that's kind of what I want to do here as well. So um, I guess our entrance is right there. So we're gonna throw in some trees again I'm gonna do the a nice copy for you guys. This is what we're looking like so far now Here's the fun part. I'm excited for this because I want to do one of those false docks We'll probably set that up over here and next to all this resident service area and it's gonna lead off like on either side of our shopping district. So here, maybe I'll just do this before we get too carried away. Ooh, we need a lighter color for upper terraforming. Whenever you um, terraform a level higher on your map, it shows a different color of green. Please trust the process. I beg of you. It's not gonna look this bad once I do a good copy. You guys are gonna see the time lapse. 
I promise. So that's gonna be like some boats and whatnot. They're gonna take up this little area here. So there's our dock and I guess over here I have some of these that I can use as well. I have some um, staircases and bridges. We'll drag this over here and we'll have a bridge lead up off of this path and it's not gonna be the correct size but it's just an idea. And this part right here, this little bridge section, that's gonna be a fake bridge, like an elevated part of like terraforming and it's going to look like a bridge. It's not gonna be an actual bridge, but it's gonna look like one overlooking the wharf. And here is where we are going to have our shopping district. I'm gonna go ahead and take this love nook's cranny and we're gonna bring it over here. Yeah, we'll have it on the left. Sure, why not? And then we're going to take Able Sisters, same thing. There we go. And we are going to make one of the houses. I've never done this before. I've always had a house is a house and that's it. It's just the villager's house. But now we're going to take one and we are going to make it into a makeshift shop. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to look like. We're going to try and have it go like in a, a triangular section here, this shopping district. Also, I would like to have a nice little fountain going like a path from either way. And I think I'm gonna have this path continue up here. And I guess that's just gonna connect. We're gonna do the same thing once again. And we are going to drag this towards this part of the wharf. And that is gonna be like a little bait shop, tackle shop, I guess you could say. I think that's gonna look pretty adorable. I'll try and make it all fishy looking. I think it would be nice to have um, a little gazebo kind of like in the center of this, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what we can have right there. Maybe like a seating area, I guess. Here we'll have a little chair going like this. Cool. So we kind of had the right side taken care of, but as I was saying before about a little modern piece in this island, I want to have an, a view, an overlook, so that you can stand on top of this right here and you can look out into over here. And that is going to be a, a, like a city, like a very glowy skyscrapers, buildings, all that type of view. So I guess I could just name it city view. So it kind of looks empty here. Um, if it ends up being more empty, I'll of course add stuff there, but I don't really know what to add right now. What I've always wanted to try is, I think I'm gonna delete this section right here. And I think we're gonna try a diagonal path instead of just a straight one. I want the museum here, so I want the water to lead up towards that. Let's do this. Uh, is that far enough? Would you say? I think I'm gonna try and make it like go like that. Yeah, just so it's not super straight. I don't want everything to be super symmetrical. We're gonna do diagonal all the way up. Maybe we could have a bridge going across that way. I had some paths over here. Yeah, let's do that and then a bridge. So I have a bridge up here already. So I can just add this here for now and I guess make those connect. And that's gonna take care of that section. Now this is the area I kind of want to have the neighborhood kind of leading up to the museum. Here, let's get this out of the way first. The, uh, the museum is going to be elevated. So let's just, uh, as an idea, let's put that here. Again, not gonna stay exactly like this and we're gonna put some houses down too. So let's do some kind of over here leading upwards towards it, uh, around the corner. And then we can do another one. We have to keep track of how many houses we have because we can only have 10. And I wanna put one special one up where I live. And you know who that's gonna be, this guy. Maybe I'll have one in the corner. Duplicate, drag you here. Duplicate, drag you here. Please trust the process. This is not gonna look this bad later. I'll add another bridge just so you don't have to walk all the way down, you know? I don't wanna be super boring, so let's add a little ring of water around here and it can kinda connect to that waterfall. Maybe have it pour down a little bit. And then I wanna have this piece of land kinda branch off over here, right? And then again, I wanna take a house and I wanna take it up here because this is gonna be a post office. I wanna make that one into a post office. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the final house is gonna go up with me in the woods. We'll probably have like a statue here and a statue there. Maybe we can have like, it, yeah, it drapes down and then this stream can continue on behind the resident services. And I guess we can have pathways alongside that. So it's kind of like you're walking. Now let's move on to the back end, back end of the island. So I know that I wanna, it, it's a magic forest, right? I'm gonna have a lot of glowy stuff, a lot of mushrooms, a lot of weird stuff, and we're gonna have a cool little witch's tower right in the corner over here. And it's gonna be elevated, that color for elevated, and then we're gonna do an extra one, because I wanna have it pretty high up. 
I want to have some waterfalls coming down from that. So imagine some really nice terraforming going on here. And a witch's tower. I don't know how I'm going to make that. I don't know if there's... I haven't seen any towers in the game. I'm just going to assume that I'll have to make do with something. So we'll just add this little thing here and that here. And let's add a little yellow window signifying that there might be somebody in there. And leading on to the secret beach, I've never done this before. I really, really want to try to have a rock garden. And I think, is there six? I don't know. I'm gonna put six for now. So five, six, and that's gonna be surrounded by trees and stuff. So that's gonna look really nice. I think I, think I thought about this a little bit too much because this is going smoother than I would have thought it was gonna go. Um, maybe we'll have a waterfall coming down here and connecting to like a big, not lake, but a big pond. So like that, I guess. Maybe we'll have some nice big land things in here. And then I'm also gonna have like a big section of land over here. This is gonna be where I live and Sherb. Should we have it elevated one more? I think so. Let's elevate that one more. We'll go and take this guy, bring it over here. Um, I think I'll have mine kind of, uh, hello? I think I'll have mine kind of in the mountainside, so kind of like pushed in and it's sunken into it. Ooh, I also have to find a place to put a sunken waterfall. Maybe we'll have a sunken waterfall somewhere. I'll fit it over there somewhere, maybe. Then we're gonna take this last little guy and this is gonna be Sherb's house. He's gonna go there and we can both overlook the sunset together. And maybe we'll have some cool waterfalls falling in back here. Maybe we'll have one come across here and make a little pond. And we need to figure out something. Maybe we'll have a nice little pathway. This just signifies a dirt pathway. Should we have a fence along here? Kind of like a forbidden like keep out zone? We'll decide that later on. Maybe we can have a tree line. That would make it look more natural. But do we want to make it seem as if you can't go over there? I think that would be a pretty cool concept. And I also wanted to do something pretty cool. I wanna have a space station on my peninsula. So just somewhere you can take off, you know? We're gonna go make a little rocket ship boy here. Nice little window. There we go. And here, let's throw in a telescope too. This is our little telescope. Cause what's the space station if you can't look at the stars? There's our telescope. And am I forgetting anything? The campsite, how could I forget the campsite? The campsite is gonna go all the way in this corner. Just nice, snug, right tucked back into this side of the island. And let's add in some trees here and there just to kind of fill up some space. Here we go, doing great. And I wanna kind of have this um, rock garden hidden away a little bit. And again, this area kind of looks a little empty because we're gonna have that city view. And where's this gonna lead? Do I just wanna have a nice waterfall kind of terraforming situation here? And then it falls into a nice little pond, I guess? Maybe we can have this elevated one more just to kind of get a cool little terraforming thing going. Kind of like my entrance that I have on my island, my one that I'm finished of. It starts at the top and then drapes down into a waterfall into the pond. I like that. Here, let's decide where everyone's gonna live, why don't we? Here I go. This is adorable. I'm gonna go right here. My best friend is gonna go right beside me. I didn't really cut these characters out very well, I don't care though. My best friend's gonna go right beside me. How cute is that? Look how adorable that looks. We're so small. Who should be the post office? I think Raymond should be the post office. What about you? Quick reminder that again, if you have any ideas whatsoever for this island, please let me know in the comments below. I would happily take suggestions. We're gonna get rid of Salil eventually, or however you pronounce their name. I'm gonna go and put her away from everybody else because nobody likes her. We can have a nice little corner right over here. Shino, we can put her in the shopping district. Again, I'm probably gonna get rid of Shino as well. I don't really like Peppies that much. I'm probably gonna get rid of Molly too. I'm not sure where she's gonna go. Let's put her right here. Let's put Stitches right in the middle. Tia, you can go the front. And these two guys can have a nice entrance point at the museum. So I'll put Sasha there and I'll put Aone right beside on the left. And there we go. Trust the process. I'm going to do a good copy now. Hopefully I will get my buttoned gear and finish Happy Home Paradise so I can edit the style of their homes. Look how small and adorable they are. But anyways, this is what I have for now. I'm gonna go and do a good copy so I can get you guys to have a better idea of what I'm trying to do. I'll make it look nice and neat and hopefully pretty and good. And then we'll be able to use it for a little reference as what we want on our island. So I'm gonna go do that now and I'll see you then.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Now we are here with a more so finished product. Of course, as time goes on, as I said before, I'll probably be changing a few things here and there just to try and kind of fit more into my ideas and what I'm trying to go for. But right now we have pretty much um, a good base to start with. From before, I kind of changed some of the water and land shapes just to kind of fit more smoothly than one another. And I removed things such as that little stream right behind resident services. I didn't think it was very necessary, so I took that out. And as you can see in the city view area, I tried to add just a little bit more detail to try and show you what I'm going for. I know it looks very out of place, but the way views work, it's, it's kind of meant to be like that. So again, we'll trust the process and we'll see how that goes. If I hate it, guess what? It'll go. We can just delete it or not even do it in the first place. But yeah, I tried to make everything a bit more organized and I think we have a good start. If you guys have any suggestions at all, by all means, go down into the comments and let me know. Who knows, there can be some pretty good ideas just to kind of fill some more spaces that I may have missed or some cool ideas that I didn't think of. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know. I'm going to be streaming Flattening My Island very soon. So in the near future, I will be streaming on Twitch. I will leave that link down below if you want to check out my channel and you can be there for times that we may go live together. But yeah, I will be definitely streaming that, flattening all of my island and getting rid of it all just so we can start fresh and new with this design that we created together today. But that's about all I had to say, so thank you to anybody and everybody who watched this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I would also appreciate if you subscribed and liked this video. Doing these two things helps us as a channel to grow and it also helps me push my content out to people who enjoy this type of content and in turn inspires me to make more of it, so it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.